Good evening, glad you're with us tonight. A unique classroom schedule is what leaders at Spartanburg Preparatory School sent out the last couple of weeks. They spent it organizing. 7 News reporter Melanie Palmer breaks down how it's different than most back to school plans. A plan to get kids back in the classroom safely. That's what schools and districts across the upstate have been working on for weeks. However, here at Spartanburg Preparatory School, a charter school, they've had some flexibility to create a plan of their own. Empty hallways soon to see footsteps once again. They're looking forward to going back to school as far as in classes. They'd rather be in class than sitting at home. We love it every day. Yes. I love everything in school. We put tape six feet apart. But those hallways at Spartanburg Preparatory School will have some new features. Head of school, Tamika Whitmire, is giving us a look inside. We're not allowing the students to use the water fountains. They have to bring a water bottle from home. It's all part of their plan to get kids back in the classroom safely. A big part of that, a half-day schedule, five days a week. The AM session runs from 8 AM to 11 AM and the p.m. session from 12.15 until 3.15 p.m. Between those two school shifts, Whitmire says they're making sure no germs are left behind. If it's an a.m. student, they'll sit on that side, and a p.m. student will sit on the other side. She says they will be cleaning the socially distanced desks between each schedule. This is traditionally second grade girls' classroom. You'll also notice plexiglass like this around the school, and the cafeteria tables will remain folded up through the school year. We're not using any common spaces, so all lunches will be brought to the classrooms and the students will eat in the classrooms. And even though it has been a lengthy process concocting a school plan, Whitmire says their mission remains the same. We love our students. We're going to take care of you. We're going to keep you safe. You'll also see signs like this around the school reminding people to mask up. And something else worth mentioning, Whitmire says they will be doing a temperature check to every student before they even enter the building. In Spartanburg, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. There's also a virtual academy option for students. Whitmire tells us a little over 50% of students have signed up for it.